What is going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be checking out some new statues. Uh, first, this is from Elite Creature Collectibles. Uh, there's like a booth tour somewhere on YouTube and whatnot, but I caught these picks because these are the ones that intrigued me the most. Life-size Hellboy from Hellboy 2, Ron Perlman version, massive base, like that thing is freaking huge, like ECC big. And they decided to go without his jacket look, which is kind of surprising. I kind of feel like they should have done the jacket and his right hammer of doom, hand of doom. <clears throat> You know, like, imagine the Doom hand up here. Similar to the Jason and Freddy. Plus, the costume adds a lot of detail. I mean, it's cool seeing his skin, but I would have preferred a costume. You know, it also would have helped uh, cover, like, the side, which is just going to be red, the cutoff part. So, they should have did one arm up, especially since he, you know, his head is angled this way. Do the Hammer of Doom upward, similar to my Thanos bust. This one's fine being cut off and then throw the jacket on for added detail and just have it cut off dangling right here like my Joker bust. Nevertheless, it is the best Hellboy bust out there and it looks phenomenal depending on price and if I can find space and if they make a one third, I will consider it. Then there's the Sapien guy. Uh, this one's also, you know, quite a big base. Very, you know, he's a very unique like water type creature. Very cool looking bust as well. Obviously, he'll pair great with that Hellboy. Uh, they also did a life-size E.T. Now, I've never seen the E.T. movie, uh, so I can't comment on this. I mean, obviously, the detail is great. Like, the eyes look really good, and it looks detailed and whatnot. Uh, here, it's about 4500 bucks. There's a light-up in the chest and the finger. I I've just never seen this movie, so I hold zero sentimental value to that thing. Check out this life-size boo, by the way. This is crazy. Like, that is awesome awesome uh this is easily the best boo i've seen comes with multiple swap out hands as well great detail perfect likeness texture is a little rough on the pants like it's a little too thick i'd like it more fine but the sculpted paint overall look great that gohan's way over scaled like that looks ridiculous but boo looks amazing i think that looks incredible like if i collected dbz only i would 100 percent buy this it's also priced pretty reasonably. It's just a few thousand dollars. You can order from Hexapus ACG, who is now actually the official uh, seller for DBZ resin collectors. So best place to get all your DBZ statues, just get it from Hexapus. You know, he is the like main partner of a lot of studios, so he gets it directly from the studios, and you know he's their preferred vendor. All right, now check this out. So we did see. You know, this Black Widow bust a long time ago, although they made some alterations, I've given some feedback. And so here she is. They made two of them. This one, which has more of like that Civil War look. Uh, you know, and this is not my preferred hairstyle, especially considering the costume. There's a side angle. So check out the detail. Look at the glass eyes. They look really well done. Green. Then, you know, brown, blackish eyebrows, hand-punched eyebrow, or eyelids, or eyelashes, goodness. See a little bit of mascara in the eyes. There's Scarlet's Mole. The lips look pretty good. Nice skin texture. And then this is the one I prefer. This hairstyle. This, to me, looks better. You know, I like the hair dangling in the front. Uh, and then the braids in the back. You know, looks very good. You know, in my opinion, is solid 85% plus likeness. Uh, really well done. Check that out. The costume looks good. Now, the hands are not silicone, and I spoke to, you know, Inner Studio, who made this, and they just said it's not possible to do silicone because she's holding the gun, and then the other hand, she's holding the ammo. It's just not possible to do silicone. I would like some close-ups on this to see you know how good it is but as far as the rest of everything like the costume uh scarlet herself like the face i think it looks really good you know pretty good likeness like i definitely see it like the nose and whatnot let me show you one other picture they sent to me all right and here is just the full bust so you have a you know black widow logo here at the bottom 
And this is like an infinity style half torso. There's some bullets there on the base and it comes up. And you know, I had suggested multiple, you know, alterations to this bus. Originally they had that zipper gray or silver, same silk color as that. And I was like, yeah, you gotta get rid of that. It needs to be black. Uh, it's black in the movie. You know, and then they, the initial hair and skin tone looked really bad, and so I had to make several suggestions on fixing that, fix the eyebrows. But overall, it's a solid-looking custom bus, like easily the best Black Widow bus we've seen out there. Queen has already advised that they're not making a Black Widow bus due to licensing, which means if it's licensing, then no studio is ever going to make it. So if you want to get a Black Widow bus in your collection, this is really your only option, unless other studios decide to make a custom Black Widow. I don't think they will, but, you know, I think this is pretty much it. And Inner Suit has also made another Black Widow. I'm not a big fan of that one. I think the likeness is off, and it just looks kind of weird. So, not the biggest fan of that. Check out that. That's really sick looking. Yeah, and so if you guys are interested in the Black Widow... You know, they've made two of them, uh, and they will do another batch of t if at least 10 people are interested. So you can, you know, reach out to me or Inner Studio, and I can, you know, hook you up to the right person. Yeah, here is the ECC. So as you see, Doctor Strange is at my house. We also have Steppenwolf. You guys will see the videos in the next few days. All right, a few things to check out here on Sideshow. Uh, so you have the one-third scale. Well, this is all old, uh, but this is new. The Gimli by Infinity Studios half scale. So how tall is this guy? 34.65 inches. So he's as tall as one of my Prime 1 Justice League one-third scale statues with a massive base. Granted, he's a very short character. I assume Gimli's like not even five feet. As you can see, incredible detail. Like the teeth are grimy and... The beard looks really well done. The likeness is spot on. You know, it's silicone, glass eyes, hand-punched hair. Pose, pretty cool. Overall, like it. You know, and then you can get the legless. And they've already advised they're making the entire line. Like, the entire freaking fellowship. So, I think it's really good that they've already confirmed they're making the whole fellowship. It makes it easier to collect knowing you're going to be able to complete it. So, it's really annoying when a studio makes, like, one statue with, you know, and you have high hopes you want to get the other characters, but then, let's say, cells weren't that good or whatever, they end the line immediately. And then you have an incomplete line, then you want to sell it, and then the value drops. So, knowing that they're doing the entire fellowship, I think really, like, this is going to be the best half skill line ever, in my opinion. So, if you're a huge Lord of the Rings fan, I think you should go all in. I mean, if you collected Lord of the Rings only, like I've seen some collectors, I would get this line and the Prime 1 line and the Infinity Studios bust line. You get those, you're set. You get a few Wettas here and there, but in general, I think Weta, you know, they're good for 1-6, but that's kind of it. Some of their creatures are pretty cool. But I'm a much bigger fan of, like, the Prime 1 and Infinity. Like, this is absolute killer. Quite expensive, $3,200, where Legolas was cheaper and much bigger. Although, you know, I think the same amount of work goes into both of them. You know, Legolas, I mean, this one was 1700 but the one with hand-punched hair and silicone was much more expensive. They didn't offer that with him. He is a premium price... But overall, I think he looks amazing. Like, one of the best half skills out there. Like, to me, that's far more impressive than Queen Studios' freaking Aquaman half scale. Let's see if there's anything else here. Yeah, the Ellie. Ellie looks amazing. Blade one third. I like the other Blade statue much more, honestly. This one does not interest me at all. Even if this was the only blade option, I still would not buy it. I think it's just boring, and I don't care for it. But the one with the vampires, absolutely sick. Yeah, I think that's kind of it right here. Uh, I want to show you one last thing. Uh, this is by Blue Box Hyper. They have a new silicone bust, and it is Mimir from God of War Ragnarok, or God of War, the original. Uh, full version, silicone head, eyes with light-up system... Uh, he does come with a base option as well, so you could get him just the head and you'd basically, you know, like, have to hang it on something or display it on its side. 
or you could get it with this sort of like tree type base you know that's where kratos originally found them and he cut them off so i think the tree base looks really cool it's also not a big space hog you know, it literally just hangs on so very cool on the back they also have this you know god of war theme you know it has some writing right there in that tree so i think that looks really cool as you can see, it's 26.7 inches tall, 11 and a half wide. So it's not going to be a space hog. In addition, you could literally just get a, like a wall mount thing. Same thing I used to hang my Thor's hammer and just hang this. You know, you could literally do that. Although I would still prefer the base. Uh, you know, this bad boy cost $2,300. So very expensive. Nevertheless, it does look extremely cool. Now that's just uh, like photoshops with the base. The actual bust is right here. Check it out. Yes, there's the light up eyes. Silicone, hand punched hair, horns, likely real rope I'm assuming. Now the light up eyes is super cool because that's how it is in the video game. But you'll probably light it up once and then never light it up again. Or maybe when friends come by. The tattoos look amazing. No, very cool. There's the bottom where his head got chopped off by Kratos. I love Mimir. I think he's an incredible companion, always giving cool stories. You know, it's like one of the most intuitive, cool, cool side characters to ever join you. Yeah, so here's the eyes not lit up. And as you can see, that looks freaking amazing. You know, the eyelashes, the eyebrows, that eyeball is just insane looking, you know, because he is like the all-knowing is the smartest being alive. The wrinkles, you know, really, really well done by Blue Box Hyper. So, I'm a big fan of this. I think it looks amazing. You know, I would love to get this. You know, I'm debating between this and the Black Widow. If you guys had to choose, what would you get? Mimir or Black Widow? You know, if I got this, I'd have to display it between my Kratos and Balder. Sort of like spread them apart a little bit and have this maybe propped up a little bit and have it displayed between them or you do the wall mount version like i said which would obviously be a lot easier space wise i could just you know do that but i would like to display it with the base because i think it looks better that way still this is over two thousand dollars black widow's over three thousand dollars so what do you guys like better mamir or widow mamir i know this quality it is queen and infinity quality i do not know inner studio quality so that is one thing I do not know. I've never seen their quality in person. They tell me it's as good, but it's definitely a gamble to do it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.